Okay, next up, they're from Birmingham. It's broadcast and they're here to preview their new album for Warp, Ha Ha Sound. Music. One. World. Radio One. The band was kind of founded on that United States of America LP, wasn't it? I think, mm. um, I think it was the one, because we all went to um, Sensateria, a, a, you know, a, a really good club in the, the late 80s, early yeah. 90s in Birmingham. Um, it was the one track that, you know, we all really liked, um, which was Garden of Earthly Delights by the United States of America. And, you know, although we were at the club and going there for our own reasons, like Tim was very into the kind of garage scene and, yeah. um, you know, me psychedelic side of things. And I think the United States of America seemed to encompass all of those things, you know, the kind of psych pop, because it's a kind real garage sound, yeah. Because it's a mixture of different mm, kind of styles, mm, isn't it? Like mm, jazz and yeah. But it took them all in and seemed to suggest you can go so many different ways of music. You know, it's kind of it opened up a kind of limitless sort of feeling for us. You know, which was mm. which was great to start a band and then and want to sound like that because well, not necessarily sound like it, but just sort of use those methods that they use because it's so kind of uh, you know so open you can just sort of throw anything in but it's a really dynamic record at the same time I think it's a kind of fusion of like Joseph Beard's sort of avant-garde techniques with the kind of the very dynamic rhythm section and then, then you've got the, the sort of sweet vocal yeah. on top you know it just, just really worked I mean I'm sure then it might have seemed a bit like kind of standard LSD music to a lot of people but I don't know I think that the kind of the colour in that music is pretty unique um, and the singer she you know she She's kind of quite mysterious, isn't she? Dorothy Moskowitz. Her voice, I think, is just the kind of voice of the time. And I think mm. that, you know, people probably, you know, say that it sounds exactly like Grace Slick or something like that. But for me, it's this really pure pop jazz kind of vocal, vocally trained voice. One world out there.
you so much to Justin Spear and Broadcast there. 